Epcor and its predecessor corporations have played a role in the city of Edmonton since before it was a city. And in its current capacity, Epcor is a business leader. Epcor has a unique governance model. It's a municipally owned utility, but the council at the time, in light of regulatory changes, wanted it to be run in a business-like fashion and evolve into an organization that planned for the long term and generated wealth in the longer term for the city because the dividend from EPCOR is a substantial part of the uh, revenue base of the city. It was apparent to some clear-thinking individuals that at the city that they had to have a model that was different from the city-owned utility in order to be able to compete in a deregulated market. Just gonna, you know, slip and slide. The businesses we're in are very competitive. We must attract the best and the brightest. A uh, key role of a board is not to run the business, that's management's role. But you want a board that knows how to ask the right questions of management, to give the right guidance to the management team, and where necessary, to assert its views. In this day and era, if you don't have proper governance, you don't have a proper a functioning organization. Political decisions and business decisions are both important, but they too should not be mixed. The governance structure of EPCOR has been recognized a number of ways. It has won a national award from the Conference Board in 2004 for its governance structure, as well an Ontario uh, body that was making recommendations to the Ontario government referred to the EPCOR governance structure as best in class. So this is a structure that has really, from arm's length third party individuals, really has received the stamp of good housekeeping in terms of being best in class for governance. The board looks at big ticket issues. Anything that has a potential to adversely affect the company as a whole is always dealt with at the board level. But there are four boards that are set up to deal with a variety of other issues. There's the Audit Committee, the Human Resources and Compensation Committee. There is, as well, the Governance and Nominating Committee. And finally, there's the Environmental Health and Safety Committee. And that committee is obligated to look at our environmental footprint, whether we're adopting best practices, but it has a very critical role in ensuring that safety is number one in the organization and that every employee that comes in to work that day will go home safely. You would look to EPCOR's impact on the city as being a catalyst in addition to the direct impacts, and that's happening in a couple of ways. One, one more direct, was EPCOR's participation and spin-off of the Capital Power, creating a second uh, major head office in, in Edmonton, the largest publicly traded company that operates from Edmonton, another forward-looking member of our business community and a, and, a, and a company that's showing leadership already. EPCOR is a business operating independently from the city. It pays taxes, has a credit rating, files on CDAR, and reports on its financial, operational, and corporate responsibility results. EPCOR does not rely on funding from taxpayers. It does not have access to common equity. Financing sources include commercial paper, credit facilities through major banks, and the issuing of public debt and preferred shares or other instruments. Its independent board of directors operates at arm's length from its shareholder, the City of Edmonton, Business strategy and decisions are left to the board rather than the elected shareholder representative or city council. There are no city councillors, political appointees, city or EPCOR employees on the board. The board, it's a mix of individuals, mixed in terms of gender, mixed in terms of skills, and mixed in terms of regions with individuals from Toronto, British Columbia, uh, Calgary, Edmonton and there are individuals there that are CAs, that are involved in the consumer goods industries, that are economists, that have some expertise in um, human resources. So it's a, a broad mix. Better directors means better boards, and we believe that results in better business. It's well in excess of 2,000 Edmontonians that work for EPCOR in our city, which makes EPCOR one of our major single employers. EPCOR doesn't just employ a lot of Edmontonians, it employs a lot of Edmontonians in exactly the types of jobs that our future economy will require. The head office jobs, administrative leadership, uh, executive and skilled trades, 
uh, skill design, engineering, all of those sorts of things that, that come with a company uh, and its head office. EBCOR has consistently and will consistently earn a return for the city uh, by way of a dividend, which represents approximately 10% of the cash operating income of the city. The citizens of Edmonton should be proud of this organization. We have paid the city of Edmonton over the last 10 years over $2 billion by way of dividends and other fees that are applicable to this organization. And I'm extremely proud to be uh, involved with this organization. Indeed, it's an honor and a privilege.